Good day, folks. I'm just going to make this a short and sweet video. And basically, if you are a mobile editor like myself, I just want to point out that if you film in the new 5K30, which is a new feature of the Hero 9 Black, it's not supported natively under iOS. Now, for me, that's not a big issue because primarily I'll still be filming in 4K. But if you need to film in 5K30, there are a few workarounds and I'll go over them with you in this video. So let's just jump right in and take a look. So one of the new features on the Hero 9 Black is that it now supports 5K video resolution. And it's really important to know if you are a mobile editor like myself, I film everything that I do on my YouTube channel either on an iPhone or a GoPro, and I edit everything on an iPad. So it is important to know that if you film in 5K30, you cannot import it directly into an iPad or an iPhone. Now, if you do need to film in 5K30, there are a few workarounds, and I'm just going to kind of demonstrate everything here for you quickly. I'm just going to pull the memory card out of the Hero 9 Black here and uh, we're going to do some tests. Now you can connect your GoPro to the GoPro app and transfer the 5K footage over that way. When you then export it to the camera roll, it's going to convert it into a format that the iPad or your iPhone can use. Now there's two problems doing it that way. When it converts it over, it actually bumps it back down to 4K and it also lowers the bitrate. So you are losing quality and there's no point in filming in 5K then if it's just going to convert it back to 4K. The other problem is if you're a mobile editor like myself, some Sometimes you're transferring 20, 30, 40, 100 clips at once. Using the GoPro app is very slow. Ideally, you want to use some kind of card reader because you can transfer over large amounts of files very quickly. But transferring the 5K GoPro footage over to your iPad with a card reader is where the problem is. I'm just going to launch our Photos app here and I'll plug in the card reader so we can check it out. You're going to see the drive pops over here on the side. Used to pop up down here when you're importing footage, but with iOS 14 it now comes up on the side here. So if we click on it, there's the file there. And when I go to import it, you can see we get that dreaded exclamation mark saying that the file isn't supported, as you can see there. Now if we go to our Files app, again I'll go to the drive, browse to where the folder is, and there's the video file there. You can see it won't play, it's just not supported. But what we can do here, if you do need to shoot and edit 5K GoPro footage, we can select the file, and we're going to move it over to our iPad. And of course you can save it to whatever folder you need. I'm just going to copy it right into the root directory. So we'll hit copy and it should copy pretty fast because it's not a very large file. We will minimize that. We're now going to launch our LumaFusion. Now if we go to our file browser, you can see there's the file there. It has an exclamation mark in it saying that it's not supported, but it is. We'll drag it down to our timeline and you can see we have the full 5k footage. We can play it. And edit it and everything works just fine now if we go to the information right there if we click on it i don't know if you'll be able to read that on the screen but it does say the resolution is 5120 by 2880 so it is still in the full 5k now i'm just going to show you here i'm going to go over to our photos because i did already copy a version over via the gopro app where it downsized it to 4k it should be up here at the top there it is there you can see when I click on it and we check the information, you can see that indeed it has dropped it down to 4K. The resolution of this one is 3840 by 2160 and the bit rate is at 50. So it dropped the bit rate down by 10. Natively it recorded in 60 because I didn't have it on the high bit rate when I was recording it. But uh, you can see it still dropped down the resolution and the bit rate. So if you're wanting to work with the highest quality file possible, definitely you want to do it this route instead of using the GoPro app. So yeah, folks, just a little bit of information for you. If you do plan on getting the Hero 9 Black and you're a mobile editor and you're wondering how the compatibility is with 5K footage, there are those workarounds that I showed you that do allow you to edit the 5K footage in programs like LumaFusion. Now, as mentioned, Apple will be releasing an iPhone 12 sometime later this fall. So it might support these higher resolutions. So I'll definitely be testing that out once they're released and I have one. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.